everybody, Sara, and today I'm going to show you how to make things using Sculpey. One thing in particular, I'm going to show you how to make a little figure. Um, I call it a droll. It's kind of like a troll, but it's kind of cuter. Um, and it's pretty easy, and I have some just household items to use. Uh, a plastic chopstick. Corn on the cob poker. I have colored Sculpey also. Uh, this comes in a variety pack. It's like $12. And this Sculpey 3. This is also Sculpey 3. And then there's other kind. I've kind of mashed it up, but this is, um, I think it's called Primo, and it's also made by Sculpey. And they run about a dollar to two dollars, depending where you buy it. Um, and I also have just a um, little. Uh, teaspoon scooper, but I don't even know if I'm going to use it, just in case. And then we want to start on a glass surface that is clean so as not to pick up any dirt or dust into the Sculpey itself. Um, and this will also help from absorbing any of the polymer clays oils. So we're just going to open up our Sculpey. I first started using Sculpey I want to say I was about 9 or 10, and I would make little figures, and then I started to get into sculpture in high school, and I would use clay that had to be kiln fired. I'm just going to break off a piece here. And then, um, the one good thing about Sculpey is you can do it at home, bake it in the oven, that's how you harden the clay. And it's very pliable. Some of the different options for Sculpey are harder, like the Primo. You have to really warm it up. It's very hard. I'll show you. It's more <clears throat> crumbly, more plastic, um, where this is more of a malleable so make um, a ball very simple I find <clears throat> using clay is very fun um, you can even do a little project with kids and it's not really hard to start I mean you can make very simple things like flowers snowman you can make it flat and just do drawings on the actual Sculpey to make like an ornament, you can make a snowflake, I want a little bit more than that. And we start with a round ball. Just gonna warm it up a little bit so it's a little bit easier. Like I said, we're just rolling the body. And if you wanna add more, just add more, just make sure it's the same color. You can blend. So I'm going to roll it just on the side. Sorry, my computer keeps shutting on me. Um, rolling it to make kind of like a Hershey Kiss uh, shape. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, you can smooth out the edges later. Plus, we can add to it later. And then you want to make just kind of squish it so that it'll sit nicely. And that's kind of our body. It's a little belly. And then we want to do our feet. That's fine. We can work on the little details later. Sculpey doesn't harden quickly. It's not a self-hardening clay. It can dry out and become um, crumbly, but it doesn't harden. So if you do have Sculpey that got dried out. All you would need was mineral oil, even baby oil would do. And um, kind of pearl Sculpey, which I kind of prefer for bodies, but we're making it simple. So the feet and legs, kind of mush them to the body and then blend into the bottom, just like this, just so that they stick. Same concept as the legs, just shorter. Take more Sculpey. And 
And again, size is just relative. You just want to make sure that the body looks kind of proportionate to the legs, unless you want to do it so that it's kind of goofy looking. <laughs> it's all personal taste. So making the arms. Now with this, I want to make a thumb. And you should make sure that the thumbs for both. Sorry, I had a little edit there. Um, the hands are on, the thumbs are for both sides. So I'm just making a thumb. Kind of like a mitten. Pretty easy. You don't have to worry about details of fingers that can take time to learn. Um, and then just stretching out the arm. Now I want to make about relatively the same size. So I took um, high school sculpture for three years, and then I also took an arts and crafts class that used Sculpey and Fimo um, polymer clays to make beads, um, little figures, and then I went to college for a year for sculpture and art, and we use mostly clay-based. Trying to see, that's pretty good. You want to just put the shoulders on top, the hands there, the thumbs going in the right directions, thumbs up, and um, that's pretty good. We're not going for perfection, we're just going to try to give an idea. So now comes a little harder part, this is the head. Now <clears throat> the bigger you make the head, the younger the figure is going to appear. So I kind of want to make them cute looking so I'm gonna make a big head got a nice shape you can see how big it is that's good shape now for the forehead you want them to have kind of a profile so see this is the profile we're gonna indent the forehead a little bit to be where the eyes are gonna be Um, there are many different ways to do the eyes. You could take something like this, just clean it off, and poke the eyes so that they're nice and evenly spaced. Those are very tiny. You can add a colored Sculpey beads for the eyes, and they will bake fine because you're not baking it too high. You're baking it at 275. And um, it really doesn't bake too high. So, Right for now, I'm just going to leave the holes. I might make them bigger. I don't know. So then what I'm going to do is make a nose. Now this I do want to use a color for, just to make it kind of stand out. I'm only going to use a little bit of color and mix it in with the white. So I'm going to use a little bit of red and a lot more white because a little will go a long way just like food coloring um, and this is how we blend we just kind of smush it together it's the fun part Go back. So there's the nose. It's just a round little ball, but it's cute. Kind of looks like a snowman right now. But I'm going to do a little detail. Now, <clears throat> what did I do with my hand? Ah, here we go. This is actually just dried pasta which can break, <laughs> but it's gentle. I'm just going to create a mouth. And I want him smiling. So I'm just digging into the clay. It's going to cause this, the excess clay to kind of bunch up on the edges, but they're easy to pull just right off. Pushing in on the sides to make the smile big. If you've ever seen um, 
Wallace and Gromit or Pirates Band of Misfits, they all use a kind of polymer clay to make their sculptures. <clears throat> and uh, like uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, what they would do with Jack is they made different heads with different expressions. So they would have happy, sad, partially open mouth, angry face, and they would just switch out the heads. Because his body was bendable, but you know, the heads is the expression. And they would do that with any of the main characters, pretty much. Instead of re-sculpturing each time. That's a very long process. Stop motion animation. Okay. So for this purpose, I think he's good. I'm going to give him a little cheek. <laughs> little rosy cheeks. I'm using part of what I was making for the nose. It's just like very light pink. I'm only going to use a little bit. I'm just going to put it right there and just kind of blend it in. Use. I'm going to add hair after he's baked. I'm just going to glue on some yarn that I shredded up a bit. And um, now I'm going to use... This is just pasta. And that will hold the head on a little bit better without having to blend too much. And I'm going to add a little bit to the belly and smooth out his okay, head. Okay, I did a little editing. <laughs> I wanted, because it's almost Easter, to give him kind of a bunny-eared look. Um, I put a little color underneath and just kind of bend it into a circular form to make that kind of bunny ears. And I give him a little belly button and little nipples. <laughs> totally goofy but just adds a little bit more color a lot of the color will be on the hair um, which I'll glue on after it's baked I'm preheating the oven to 275 right now it tells you right on the back and it says uh, oven proof glass or metal surface for at 275 for 15 minutes per 1 fourth inch um, of thickness so I might do a little over 15. If you do over bake, it will blacken or it could get a glossy kind of plasticky sheen to parts of it, um, usually the bottom. So I don't want to over bake it, so I have to watch it. But I don't want to under bake it and not have it harden right. So what I'm going to do is just smooth him out a bit, then I'm going to put him Probably in this dish, I'm pretty sure, is microwave, I mean, um, oven safe. You do not want a microwave. And I'll probably just put him in, and then I'll show you how to glue on the hair, and that's it. <laughs>